Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing you clear. Okay, so um, we've done this before, but because of us not being online, I will run over it as quickly as I can. I will just use a simple scenario so that we you get it from there, right? So basically, okay. yeah, I know you have the SAS planet installed, right, on your system. You already downloaded it. Unfortunately, I don't have it in this my system. Uh, but the system I installed it. it got back. So this is a new system. So I've not installed any phone. Okay, so you but just pick, be, you just pick a note. Week. Yeah, you pick a note and then I will drop you a link to video on your WhatsApp. So you will now watch the video. I also drop a link to the class as well. So you Okay, okay, that will right. be fine. All right. So basically, SAS Planet is a software used to acquire satellite imagery. And then this satellite imagery, it depends on the accuracy of what you want to do. That yeah. you, yes, let's say you need, you're trying to study uh, hydrology, that is water body. You may not really require a very high resolution satellite imagery. But can you see the screen? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see the screen. You can, you can see, you can identify what these are, right? Mm, yeah. All right. So basically, yeah, the residential. Can, good. So you can see that this is at zoom twenty, right? Can you see where my hand is? You see that it's at zoom twenty. Okay. Mm, yeah. And then if you come down, just follow where the pointer goes. If you come down here, where my pointer is right now, can you see it? Mm. yeah yeah down okay all right so you can see that there is a 0 0.29 meter per pixel do you know what that means I just want... no no all right now look at here you're seeing a box like this right can you uh, see yes box? yes no. yeah I can, yeah so it means from this edge to this edge is 0 0.29 meters, that's 0 0.3 meter or 30 cm. That's what it means. So from mm -hmm. here to here and here to here, all of it like this is 30 cm. Do you understand what that pixel now mean? Mm, yes. All right, so it means this very one at zoom 20, you're going to get a 30 cm resolution image, which is very clear. You can see that these are a new project you can see that this is a completed project you can see so you can virtually see details these are farmlands right yeah okay so basically to acquire this image on SAS planet there are two things you will do now i believe you see this round side this one like this can you see this uh, boundary i demarcated here yeah yeah Yes. This this is Amak. That's Abuja Municipal Area Council. So mm. uh, do I brought in a KML of this. Maybe in the next class I will demonstrate that. I brought in a KML. It will just occupy the place and then you stream. So such planet is not just. It allows you to stream the place you want to download before you now finally download it. So I have first bring out my location, which is this. So secondly, is for mm -hmm. me to uh, put up some settings. Mm -hmm. So these settings are, when you come up here, you're seeing where my hand is, right? Mm, yeah. All right. Now, for adventure, when you when I send it a video, when you're trying to practice, you see I start the video from the very beginning, so that when you open a new SAS planet, you will see how it reacts and all that. So I'm not starting from there, but when you watch that video, it will show you how to start from the beginning all right so you don't need to worry so now when you come here you, in most of the case the new ones will be this place you're seeing here now is somewhere around here when you open your own it will be around here this uh this image you're seeing so this is where you select your base that is the satellite you want to use okay so now i have bing map i have S3, that is the ArcGIS version. Then I have Google Earth and other maps, so you can pick any one of your choice. 
but I'm using Google and then I'm using their satellite, which is where we are now, right? Okay. All right, so basically, once you make a selection of the Google and that's the satellite you want to use. Now, the next thing mm -hmm. you can do is you also want to, let's say you want to know data around there, maybe market, schools, name of the location and all that. Now, to do that, you see there's something that looks like an overlap, like a 3D model. You can look at here, very well. can you see? Mm, it, yeah. says, it says select an overlap layer. So if I click on the drop down button, then I come to Google. Then once I check on this traffic Google map, you'll see that names or places begin to appear. Do you know what I mean? International Gospel Center, Diamond City Estate. Names of all the places within this location will appear, including the name of the road will also start appearing. Now, you see, we have Airport Road here. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically, yeah. So these are the two first settings you need to put in place. First, you need to define your boundary. Second, you need to uh, select the satellite you want to download from, whether it is Google Earth, it does a history uh, imagery, or it's the Bing map. You must select that very uh, satellite source first. Then thirdly, you will select uh, the overlay where uh, all of these data will come out. If I uncheck it, I see that it has gone back. But if I check it back now, it's all back. All right. Mm -hmm. So this this is the mm -hmm. third step you need to do. Now the fourth thing you need to do is to determine <clears throat> how high you want, which I've already explained for you. Now each of these zoom, as I increase this zoom length, you see this zoom. As I increase it, you see that it's increasing the resolution. As I we're in 18 now. You will see that down here is 1.18 meter per pixel. So if I increase again, it's 0 0.59. If I increase to 20 now, it's 0 0.29 meter per pixel. Okay. So this is the third, fourth step. You need to determine your resolution. And then that resolution is determined by the level of zoom. This zoom, as you zoom up using your mouse, that's how yeah. you, 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 you determine which of the resolution you're using. Now, the fourth step is, you know, if you're using this large area, you will not be able to know where you have streamed and where you've not streamed, right? So you need something to show you that you've not streamed this very place. Like now, if I come down here, you'll see that I've not been, I've not streamed this place until I reach 20. Now you see that it will start streaming. Mm -hmm. You see that it's clearing over. Now, mm -hmm. how do you determine? Yeah. There is this thing up here. Look at it. It looks like a mirror. Can you see it? Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's called... Cash. Is that not a zoom? It's not the zoom. See the zoom here. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. Yes. This one is called Catch Tiles Map. Now, once you click on it, what it does is that, okay, you've determined that your zoom level is 20. You also make sure that this one is at 20. Now, once this one is at 20, it means until I am at zone 20, it will not stream. Now, once I reach zone 20, if you check, this is zone 20, right? You are seeing that if I go, it keeps it keeps streaming and it clears up the area. Do you understand? Hello? Yeah. Hello, I'm any, with you. All right, any questions so far? I know. No. Okay. Is until I go and uh, look at the video from the start. The All, right. All right. Okay. So now, <clears throat> once you've been able to determine these five parameters I mentioned, first I said you will determine your satellite source, the one you want to download from. Second, mm -hmm. I said you bring put up your overlay. Third, I say you determine your spatial resolution. That's how high you want the satellite image to be. Then fourth, I say you bring in your catch tile so that it will guide you on the streaming. All right. Now, you will now start streaming. Now, we already know that our entire location is this AMAC we want to stream, right? So, yeah. 
all we need to do now is to start streaming. We are at zone 20. So we we'll just keep streaming. I've streamed this place already. I'm only showing you so that I'll be able to finish up this very today. Okay. So this place I've been streaming. And one thing we start planning is that if you stream a place, it's already saved. Even if I copy my own SAS planet and give you now. If I copy my own SAS planet and give you, you still access this one that I've streamed already. So it saved the data. So the more it saves it, your memory space become bigger. Now are you can you see my screen? Mm, yeah. Now if I come on that catch, you see that you can you see 13.8 gig? Mm -hmm, yeah. Good. So it means all the work I've done so far has amounted to that. If I delete that uh, folder, everything that I've streamed will go. But as long as that folder is on my system, I can access it any day, anytime. Now, another thing again that SAS planning has is that, let's say, is this one you see, this streaming, I did it under Google Map, right? If I change, if I change satellite now, and uh, I change it to, let's say, S3 now, S3 imagery, mm. you see that it has, you know, um, it's no longer streamed, right? Mm, now, yeah. let's, let's say now I go on by streaming this S3 now. S3 is down. They have network issues currently down. But then let me change this to 18. I think by 18 it should do. They're having network issue. Their site is kind of having issue. So now let me change it to another satellite. Let's use Bing. So Bing map satellite. So uh, at 18, let's say, you see that it's streaming now, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if after this streaming, I return back to Google, it will still remain there. So let me go back to Google it. And I go back to 20, which was where I streamed before. You see that everything is still there. That's not gone, right? Yeah. So that is one advantage that SAS Planet has over other platform of you uh, getting satellite imagery. And then you can also download the whole country at once. That is what I'm trying to say, that you can download a very large area at once. Yeah. Now, okay. this image, like I see now, I've downloaded it on my system, it's around 44 gig. So it can be very heavy and high resolution. Mm. That's okay. heavy. Yes. So basically, you understand what I have explained so far, right? Mm, yeah. So now, what you need to do after you define all those parameters is just to basically stream. Uh, how do you stream? I'm using mouse now. So you must use a mouse for it to be able to do this. Okay. So now let me let me come down to a different location and stream. Okay. Let me use uh, which state are you from, sir? Uh, my own state. Yes. My own state is Cross River. Okay. Let's go down to Cross River. You see that all the names are showing, right? So mm -hmm. this is Asaba, Cross River, this is Uyu Kalaba. Uh, Eket, are we not in Cross River now? Or is this Aquaibo? No, Eket is Aquaibo. Cross River, that's Potako is in Cross River, right? Am I right? No, Potako is Rivers. Oh, Rivers. Calabar is the Cross River. Okay, this is Calabar, right? So, now, with all the parameters we've defined, we're going to stream this portion like this and download it today so that you also do yours okay and save it in your system because that's what we use for the training so now okay. if you check on the cache tile it's already on 20 so i'm going to move my uh, zoom level to nice. 20 so i'm zooming up so i'm at 20 now i see that it is streaming i think this is the airport right so i'm just going mm -hmm. to stream a small area so that we can download it
So if I stream this place, let me let me stream the entire of this uh, this runway. So how to stream now is that you are going to the left click the your mouse that left click of your mouse just click once and drag then leave it click drag mm -hmm. are you seeing what i'm doing you click it drag and mm -hmm. then you leave it you drag and leave it and you need a fast internet for for it to go well for you then this internet is like currently 5g very fast around 200 mb per second i think so so you see that it's not taking my time it's just streaming are you seeing so you can okay. you can start you can start slow but then when you master it you can now move fast okay so i've been able to stream this portion let me add small here so that we download it okay all right Okay, so we want to download this place. Let me adjust this. So anytime you're streaming, you have to be at 20. Depend what you define from the beginning. You follow those parameters and, and follow them like if let's say I'm I'm but eventually I'm going out of where I've defined as boundary. I have to come down to see that I'm not out of the boundary. So you zoom up and zoom down so that you begin to see where you're going wrong okay so now i want no. to down i want to download this area now that I've streamed so first you need to define the boundary of the area first then secondly we download so to do that you see this uh box here can you see where i am now mm. okay so you click well, on yeah, the, yeah 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 okay, you, yeah, you click on this drop down button here yeah. You can select rectangle, you can select polygon, and polygon yeah. is better because polygon can give you all the areas of that shape because this thing is not really a shape, it's more like an egg shape right now. So with polygon, mm -hmm. all I need is to I'll just make a click. I click and keep going. So I zoom down because you cannot make any shape. So you zoom down in time of when you want to change location. Like now, I'm okay. supposed to drag, but I can't do anything else. So I have to move now so that I go back up, making sure I don't go out of where I'm streaming. Okay. So yeah, that is by the boundaries of where you stream. Yeah, the boundary of where I stream. That's where you're clicking now. Yes. So now I've done all of that. So I'll click on this. You see this sign showing that you have like. Yeah, the green. So I'll click on yeah. it. So it's going to bring a dialog box for me here. But first, I will cancel it first. Now I want to be sure that all the places that I highlighted, uh, there's no any. Now you see, like here, and I have this pixel not been streamed. And then let's say we add another place and we want to adjust it. This place we added, we can actually adjust it to fit into that place. So, how can we do that? Now, I want this place that I've just streamed now to be added to the selection, right? So I'll come back here. Mm -hmm. I see. And this time I'm going to go to Edit Last Selection. See that it's showing an edited sign. So I'll drag any of them like this. Drag them. I'll drag this. Drag this drag this did you see so yeah. uh, now now let's say everything i want is in place so the next thing is to download so i'll click on this apply button right yeah. now check map slash overlay is showing google satellite map right because that's what we streamed and then which zoom did we use in streaming yeah. which zoom did we use in streaming as 20 good we'll select 20 and then we'll click that's under download and then we'll click on start mm -hmm. so we'll click on start now it has finished the download 
I told the network is fast. So it has finished the download. So we we'll close it. We come back to this same location. Click on we is the drop down we are using, not just clicking, it's the drop down. So you click on the drop down arrow that is pointing down. You click on it, then you come down to last selection. Okay. Are you with me now? Yes. So on the last selection, you're come you're going to click on stitch. That's you leave downloads and come to stitch now. Now this stitch, what it does is that you know it downloaded the first one in pixels. That is each of those pixels, it downloaded them in pixels in pieces. So now we want to stitch them together to becoming a satellite imagery. Okay. So now first your output format. You change your output format. So that's the first thing you do here. You can either use ECW that's enhanced compression wave wavelength or you use GeoTIF. So but let's use GeoTIF because most of the times the ArcGIS will not accept uh, the ECW. Sometimes it accepts, sometimes it doesn't accept. But then ArcGIS Pro accept all of them. So then GeoTIF. Then you now they're asking for output location. Save to so you click on this three dot here. It's going to take you then you select where you want this image to save. This was the previous work I did. So I'm just going to save it there. So I'm going to say color bar, right? Mm, yeah. Okay, then I save. Now the next thing I'm going to do is the zoom level we download we stream is at 20, right? So you don't change the zoom level. Now look at something that's been introduced here. We have an overlay layer, which is that Google traffic map we added that is giving us those names. You remember? Yeah. Yeah, so now this if you download now the those traffic, those data, like what those information that you're seeing on him, Calava, all of those, this big core town and all of those things. You will see them on the image we're downloading because of this overlay, the traffic. So now, yeah. the next thing you're going to do is you either change between any of these projections. You can use this Mercado or you use the WGS. That is sorry, I said, yeah, the WGS, the last two along with you. So anyone that, if let's say the other plane you have a point like Excel data, point XYZ, maybe you collect some ground data, GPS data. Or maybe let's say schools or maybe research institute maybe a specific research institute in the country and you don't maybe you collected them on gps and that is on eastern and northern you just use this mercato if they are in decimal degrees you use these uh, geographic longitude and latitude now that will save you from any convert further conversion in arcgis are you with me yes so now i believe every other thing is settled the way it is so you now click on start so now it's starting is splitting to one file that's all the split is bringing train to one file so it's processing at 32 percent 40 47 54 56 100 so it's done now we have our image downloaded all right so i'm going to i'm going to this I'm, something i'm working on now so I'll just uh i'll bring another data frame so that i bring in that uh, image we just downloaded now so i just want to show you that we've downloaded it okay so this is the calabar so once you click on add it's going to process it. You see that it's moving. So when that's done, the image will be displayed. So you see that our image is downloaded. You see how high it is, right? Can you see? Can you see the image, sir? Yeah, yeah. That's the one we downloaded. That's the one we just downloaded now. Mm -hmm. 
so now to show that this image is georeference i'm going to add a file then you will see how accurate it is all right so i'm going to add a root layer Okay, I'm going to add a roll layer now. So you see that it might sit on the road exactly as it should be. Let me zoom in so that I see. Now, do you see that it sits on the road? Can you see it? Can you see that it sits on the router? Hello? Hello, sir? Hello? Are you still here? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. all right since i'm going to leave the recording so basically you can see i believe you can see that the images is lapping with the new data i just added so basically this is how you can use sas planet to get this done so in recap you first load the SAS planet and most of the times once you load SAS planet it's going to look like this so this is how it appears once you open it for the first time so after you open it uh, you may not be able to identify which display so first you come and select your satellite which is we're using google and then next you put the overlap so that names can come out so once i put this overlap all names come by then I can begin to navigate whether it's in Africa then we know in Nigeria so basically we navigate to our location which is Kalaba where we just downloaded so as we are here we select our catch tile making it 20 and then making our zoom to 20 for streaming so after we're done streaming this then we come to selecting the look where we are saving using the polygon tool we select out the area we streamed and then we can edit as well by coming to edit last selection so from there we download so basically this is the end of today's class and uh i'll see you tomorrow so just a practice and try this 
and then let's get to know more of any challenges you are encountering. All right, thank you and good night.